Hi guys, so today we're going to be installing this uh, Petronix igni ignition, the electronic ignition conversion kit for our 1965 Chevy Corvair. Alright, sorry for the mic, but if you want to get one of these igniter conversion kits for the electronic ignition for a 1965 Chevy Corvair, you get the igniter one, which is this one right here. It just replaces the plate. Comes with the ground cable, the magnet, and the igniter. Or if you go down, you get the igniter 2. This one came out to $140 for this one. And the igniter 1 was about 95 bucks. I just decided to go with the igniter 2 because why not? I heard it was a little bit better. So let's get back to the video. Here's the distributor. So I'm just gonna take off the cap and put this in. It should be pretty easy. Come on, 30 minutes, 10 an hour. Guys, okay. always remember when you're doing something electrical, make sure you disconnect the ground. This disconnect. So here's under the here's the inside of the rotor. So we're gonna just take off this rotor right here. This can only go one way. It's dummy proof. Take that off. Put it somewhere safe. And we're gonna take off these points in the condenser. And we're gonna have this whole plate. So unscrew this and unscrew this. I'll be back when I get that done. Right, so I've already taken off the screw right there. Now it is a smaller screw. I need to unscrew that and that whole thing should come out. And I'll unplug this from the ignition coil. Okay, so this whole thing is gone now. As inside of the um, <laughs> the router. <laughs> I already forgot what it was called. But that is the inside of what I forgot what this is called already. But that's the inside. Um, I'm gonna start putting up the other stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it a little bit, of course. But you guys know, I need I don't need to bore you with that. And I just cut off the wire. I'm going to keep this in the car just in case something bad happens, but I'm just going to keep this just so, in case. Put the plate on. Use the two old bolts. Make sure you don't throw those away. Use those two. And then I'm going to put the round magnet thing over here. And I'm going to put the red one, all right? The red little piece that comes with. This is the igniter 2. I heard it was better than the igniter 1, but we'll see how it lasts, all right? I'll get back to you once I have that all done. Okay, so I got the magnet ring and the igniter thing um in they give you this little black spacer that just has to be able to fit in between those two okay and this little black gasket goes right there with the distributor cap on top so let me do that real quick okay. this is the car running with the electrician ig electronic ignition it runs pretty smooth. I got this car straight pipe. And it's running pretty smooth. Of course I needed to fix on the timing, but I just did the I just finished the uh, electrical on this. These wires. And make sure you have no resistor. That's the main thing. It has to be 12 volts constant when it's running. No resistance. A straight 12 volts going on this wire, go over there. That red wire goes to the electronic condition, and the black wire goes to ground. Alright, yeah, so if you guys didn't hear me, that red wire has to be constant 12 volts. Um, it can't be have the resistor. I do need to work on the timing, but it's running right now. It sounds really good. Uh, I got a straight pipe recently. I'm gonna have another video on all the straight piping just in case you guys wanna copy it, but yeah, that's the Corvair. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. More videos coming soon. Sorry, I couldn't be too detailed, but I still do need to work on the timing. But I'm gonna do the timing after. I might put a zipper video on that, okay? Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.